Hi there, my name is Manik Sultani and I'm about to demonstrate the grid file system building blocks in InfiniSpan using the GridFS WebDAV demo that ships with InfiniSpan. This web app is packaged as a WAR file and it is available as a part of a set of demo apps shipped with InfiniSpan from version 4.1.0 alpha 2 onwards. So to get things started, as you can see I have an open SSH connection to one of my servers, Cluster01. And over here I have a recent version of GBoss AS, 6.0 milestone 2 to be precise, extracted and ready to run. You can use any service container, there's no specific dependency on JBoss AS at all. Now I will be using the new JBoss Web standalone profile. I use this for a number of reasons. I want to demonstrate that it, there is no dependency on an EGB container, that all you really need is a server container. I also want to demonstrate the uh, JBoss instance running in, is running in a non-clustered local mode, that the two JBoss instances do not talk to each other. So to get things started, I'm now going to deploy the web app. This is the uh, sample web app that we ship. And I'm going to start the server up. So while this is starting up, I'm now going to switch to this. This is another open connection I've got to Cluster02. Cluster02 is essentially a clone of Cluster01. It's got pretty much the same thing and the same stuff installed, JBoss AS instance, etc, etc. So I'm going to deploy this web app again. And that's done. And I'm going to start this up as well. Now, like I said, these are non-clustered instances. These, these two instances are not going to see each other. They're not going to form a cluster. However, each of these web apps have an InfiniSpan instance, and the, and the two InfiniSpan instances are going to see each other, and they are going to form a grid. So there you go. The first one now has started. So I am now going to connect to it using Finder. So uh, WebDAV is an open protocol. I can use any WebDAV client I like. In this case, I'm going to use Finder to mount the WebDAV instance on cluster 01 as a remote disk. There you go. Connect as guest. And I'm also going to do the same with the second server instance, cluster 02. Oops, that's cluster 01, that's now connected. Let's do the same with cluster 02. There we are, connect as guest again. Right, that's cluster 02 up there. Down here, that's cluster 01. So I've got them both mounted here as two different remote disks. This over here is my InfiniSpan source tree. I'm going to grab one of these readme files and just copy it to uh, the web dev server on cluster01. There you go. That's copied across now. Now if I look at what's in cluster in the web dev instance in cluster02, I see it's there as well. The file is now highly available. It's got backup copies, etc., etc. To prove that, I'm now going to shut down cluster01. In fact, I'm going to kill the server as well, not just disconnect from it. So that instance now is gone. And if I go back to Finder, I can see that it's still there on cluster 02. I can even open it and access it. And there you go. So this demonstrates how files can be made highly available. So I hope you enjoyed this demo. I encourage you to download and try it out for yourself. Thank you.